Hello friends, this is Tanwar619 and today I will be showing you how to perform BOSS GT1 firmware update. First of all you need to read these precautions as these will be very handy for you while performing the update. The latest version that is offered by BOSS for GT1 is the system program version 1.05. So if your multifax unit came right out of the box with this version then there is no need for the firmware update. However, if your GT1 system program version is less than 1.05 then you can select for its firmware update. But before performing the update you need to know which firmware is present inside your GT1. For knowing that you will be requiring three things and in this case I will be using a PSA adapter. You can also use the 4 AA cells that came with your GT1. So in this case I am using PSA adapter. So just connect the guitar cable, keep pressing the enter button and turn on the PSA adapter. You will get the BOSS GT1 firmware version on the LCD screen of the multi-fact unit. If you are using 4 AA cells then just keep pressing the enter button and insert the guitar cable to the GT1 input jack. Once you know the firmware version of your GT1 you need to know how to get inside the BOSS updater menu. The procedure for getting inside the BOSS updater menu will be same as knowing the firmware version but in this case instead of pressing the enter button we will be pressing the exit button. So just connect the guitar cable, keep pressing the exit button and turn on the PSA adapter to get the BOSS GT1 updater menu. If you are using 4 AA cells then just keep pressing the exit button and insert the guitar cable to the input jack of the GT1. After you have done that you will require a printer cable. A printer cable is often called as USB 2.0 A mail to B mail cable. One of the end of the printer cable will be going inside the GT1 and other will be plugged to the USB port of your PC. Once you have done that your GT1 will look somewhat like this. I am using BOSS PSA adapter in this case. So the BOSS PSA adapter is plugged to the GT1. The printer cable one of the input is going to the GT1 and other is plugged to the USB port of the PC. And one of the guitar cable is inserted to the input of GT1. And I have left other end as it is. The purpose of the guitar cable is just to turn on the GT1. Once you have done that you will be getting this on the BOSS LCD screen BOSS GT1 updater USB connected. Once you get this on the LCD screen of the BOSS GT1 you need to download the firmware from the GT1 website. Once you have downloaded the software I would rather say firmware you will get this archive. I am using WinRAR for opening it. Just right click on it and select extract files and click OK. You will get this folder and after getting inside you will get these two files gt1rom.bin and rominfo. You just need to copy these files and no need to rename them. You should remember that you don't need to rename the file just copy them and once you got that GT1 updater USB connected on the BOSS LCD screen on the PC side you will be getting this I have already performed a firmware update on my BOSS GT1 so I am not going to perform it again this is a screenshot that I saved while updating my GT1 so you will get a BOSS GT1 drive like this and it will be empty you just need to right click on it and just select paste. The two files that we selected earlier will be pasted to the GT1 and you will be getting 978 KB free of 4.95 MB. Once you have done that just right click on the GT1 drive and select eject. Once you have done that you will get a pop up showing you it is safe to remove the hardware. Now just unplug the printer cable that you plugged inside the USB port of your PC. 
once you have unplugged the printer cable that you plugged in the USB port of your PC, you will be getting this on the BOSS LCD screen. GT1 updater, push enter to start. You just need to press the enter button on your GT1 and once you have done that, automatically the process will start. and you will get BOSS GT1 updater completed. Once you have got that, you just need to unplug the guitar cable from the input jack of your GT1. Once you have done that, replug the guitar cable to the input jack of your GT1. The GT1 will turn on and this time it will take a certain amount of time to start up. The, once the GT1 will boot, it will take a certain amount of time. So you have to be patient. For knowing that your update went successfully, you can check the firmware version. You can follow the same procedure as I told you earlier for knowing the updated version of your GT1. At last you will get this BOSS GT1 version 1.05. So if you find my video helpful, then please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.